Hi, I'm Greg McIntyre with McIntyre Financial, and I'm here with our benefit specialist, Ryan Begley with McIntyre Financial, and we're going to cover Medicare supplements today. We're going to cover four things. One, standardized plans. We're going to show those standardized plans. We have a great graphic queued up where we'll show those plans. Two, uh, whether you're in a network or not when you have a Medicare supplement, how that works. And three, the most popular plans, which I can tell you are plans G and N, and we'll cover those in depth. And how to choose the right insurance company for your Medicare supplement. So, Ryan, um, yep. we're going to throw a graphic up there right now that is the standardized plans. It's called a Medicare supplement plan comparison chart. And it mm -hmm. will show the different Medicare Part A, B, hospice stays, and other types of you know care providers things of that nature on the left and then i'll cross the top it's going to show plan a b c d f g k l m and n so there's a lot of different letters and types of plan unfortunately they don't go in alphabetical order like perfectly <laughs> right right no, yeah. no no and, and then and then there's some letters left out there right yeah, they are however um there are the mo more popular plans, which we're going to get into. Now, it's my understanding that there's no network for this. You can really choose any doctor. So, so your mm -hmm. doctor is going to, to, you know, it's going to work with your medical provider, right? It's uh, so originally they started the supplement program for more rural areas, more places where you can like, you know, farther out. So you don't have to um, be, have all the restrictions that Medicare puts on like their advantage part. So mm -hmm. the supplement part, you're able to pick a doctor and you don't have those restrictions. So you can go farther out or you can stay in your own little hometown and pick which doctor you choose. Mm -hmm. Even if they don't accept a Medicare advantage. Right. So there's no networks. Just to put it out there, there are no networks. It's going to work with your doctor. OK. Yes. And the most popular plans on this spreadsheet are plans G and plans N. So yes. plan G and plan N. Mm -hmm. And traditionally, and even now, it's plan G is the most popular plan, Medigap plan. Yep. It's the most comprehensive plan that covers um just a, a plethora of, of those needs that people sure. have that can um you know that you can just like pretty much pick one and it and one and done you don't have to go through all different types of stuff if you so, have g mm -hmm. you're covered yeah you're good you, you're covered for doctor's visits emergency room visits and hospital stays yep that's true but you have to meet your deductible Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, standard plan G deductible is $217 per year yeah. for 2022, mm -hmm. up from 207 per year from 2021. And, but you can also get a high deductible plan G plan where the deductible is 2,490 per year. Mm -hmm. So that would be the cap on your deductible with, a high or your payments with a high deductible plan G plan. Yeah. And then plan N, which you were telling me is really growing in popularity mm -hmm. in the United States and North Carolina, correct? Yes. It is. So plan, yeah. Okay. So, so plan yeah. N, tell me about plan N. It's kind of kind of similar. It's similar. It's similar to Plan G. It just doesn't have um, some of the things that people don't use as much. So mm -hmm. it's uh, there's certain things like you have to go through the plans, and you have to sit down with someone like me, go through all ten plans, and figure out which fits your needs the best. And you're like, hey, I probably won't need this service for a while. I don't want Plan G because I don't think I'll need that service, and I don't sure. think I want to pay as much in that area. I don't want to be covered for that. So, or I have something that already covers it, or I don't, you know, whatever. Um, not a plan, not advantage, because you can't get advantage and supplements at the same time. You don't have sure. one. Um, but 
you go through those plans and then you decide what best, you know, which plan pitcher needs the best. And right now, a lot of people has opted to do N instead of G because of, you know, the comprehensiveness of G. Sure, sure. And so on N, you still have to meet your Medicare Part B deductible. Yes. And then you're still responsible for co-pays for doctor's office visits mm -hmm. as well as emergency room visits. Yeah. And you're also susceptible to potential Medicare Part B excess charges, but that's rare and you can check to see if your doctor, the way that they're set up to do billing, mm -hmm. would potentially bill for Medicare Part B excess charges. So, yeah, and, and once your doctor accepts those charges and they mm -hmm. accept Medicare's assignment, they're not going to bill you for anything after they accept it. Okay. Uh, not allowed to. So, okay. Once they cool. accept that charge. So. so, and then we want to talk about choosing the right insurance company. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you want to choose because that's where you as the consumer has a lot of control. And that's yeah. where you as an independent agent can really help select the right insurance company for the person. Um, we want to choose an insurance company that's A rated. Yes. Which means they have a strong financial background and are currently rated strong financially. So if they had to pay out a bunch of claims at one time, they could take that hit and keep going and still care for yep. you. It's something like, you know, we had a you know pandemic COVID come in and a lot of, you know, elderly people and stuff got sick. You know, if a lot of that hit a, a financial industry, an insurance company like that, and they need to be able to take that hit. They need to be able to be like, yes, I, I can still pay for them and pay for you too when you need something small. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then, um, you know, it, it would be nice to have, you know, it's important to choose an insurance company that's been in the Medicare marketplace for a while. They yeah. have a history. They yeah. have a proven history in that marketplace and offering these products. Yeah, because you need to know how it works, and they also need to know not to be pushy, not to you know. There's there's a, a lot of laws and a lot of regulations going around you know, elderly people because they get they get frauded a lot, and we want to be very open, be able to give them everything laid out in front of them, so they have, can make their own decisions and not have to be forced or pushed into something. Right. And, and then and then we want to look for an insurance company that has a history of low rate increases. OK, yes. you can actually look and see what their rate increases are. You, you'd hate to to get into something at one cost, you know, price per year. And then all of a sudden that's that those rates really skyrocket on you in a short period of time. So so I think those things are important when you choose the right insurance company and you can help someone choose the right insurance company, correct? Yeah, well, or their I, Medicare supplements. Um, well, I like Medicaid supplement, Medicare, sorry, Medicare supplements and stuff like that. I, I'm i a broker, so I'm allowed to go through all of those people that offer it and be like, okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, this this plan is not good for you. So I, can, right. I have these, these options where I'm not a captive agent, so I'm not pushing a certain, I know, you know, agency down your throat technically i'm i'm sitting there going this is this is the best option for you i'm searching for the best option for the client i'm not i'm not here for the insurance company i'm here for the client sure well ryan uh, you know i appreciate you being here and and talking with us today as our benefit specialist at mcintyre financial about medicare supplements and everyone if you are interested in medicare supplements and you should be um yeah. You know they're great and you need them you know trust me uh you know as an elder law attorney um i see folks that have excessive medical bills all the time and yeah, you you are, away from that. so yeah if you are over the age of 65 and you have part a part b you're going to need to have a supplement for that um there's they just don't pay for sure. everything absolutely absolutely so if you if you would like to have a free consultation, that's what we would offer is a free consult for you. I'd like you to get in touch with us, 704-218-9223 to schedule your free consultation to discuss 
Medicare supplements, and any other financial need you might have. Or you can email us to request that at info at, m at mymcfi.com. Info at mymcfi.com. That's mymcfi.com. Um, or, hey, you can check out a ton of information, great information like we put out today on our website at mymcfi.com. So thank you for watching our video on Medicare supplements. And give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you, Ryan. See you. Yes, sir. All right. Bye.